from third round. <laughs> Do you know the first game the son won chess? The son saw the seed in my life and I said, be the best. Now he's number two. Amen. In the whole country of Africa. He started, the first game he won at school, the son sent the seed to me. And I blessed him so I could become the best. Mm. Now he's number two of the entire South Africa. Amen. Very intelligent boy. I bless him on the phone. These principles they weak. Yes. Now imagine if you didn't come closer to me when I was in Zambia. You would have known that invitation. Mm. You know, just one subject. Is that how much it is? Is it clear? Yeah. Now the people take five subjects, one child. It's called it's over 60 letters. Even seven, some of the dead seven subjects. Mm. And it's called six weeks as well. From that subject. Amen. So these things are not just jokes. He's mm. <clears throat> a man who listens carefully and teaching. Just like he also listen carefully in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. when I told him that fast, it was not from the flesh. That was the bad direction. Mm. He was breaking the evening. Mm. Let's pray for the wedding. Father, give us understanding. Mm. Give us clarity. Mm. Minister to us. Mm. Let your people receive the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Mm. Amen. Amen. Please listen with your spirit today. I'm starting a series. Diligence. Full color. A principle of God. Amen. So it means diligence. Diligence. A principle. A principle of God. Of God. Diligence. Mm. A principle. Colon. A principle of God. Mm. Principle is P R I N C I P. L E mm -hmm. that not not a uh, not a L that something that is a uh, standard principle. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Hebrews six. Hebrews six. <coughs> Eleven to twelve. <coughs> Hebrews six. Eleven to twelve. Hebrews 6, 11 to 12. Hebrews 6, 11 to 12. Look at this. <clears throat> and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of your hope and to the end. There's a story. That you be not slothful. So it means slothful. Slothful. But followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There are two ways mentioned there. The first way is diligence. The second way is slothful. S-L-O-T-H-F-U-L. Slothful. The word slothful means lazy. He says, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Point at them. Say never. Point at them. Point at them. Say never. Stop being lazy. Stop being lazy. Point at them. Say never. Stop being lazy. The time you are going to see someone sleeping at two, they sleep from eight p.m. to ten a.m. Again, they are sleeping at two. You understand? So the you lazy, wake up. You are lazy, wake up. Practice with a lazy. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> B 
Be you not less. Another one said, God is commanding you. Be you not less. Also, that word for thoughtfulness means idleness. The people are idle, especially people who say, I'm bold. I'm just bold. It's the language for lazy people. Why are you bold? You are lazy because if you are diligent, you will be doing something. Amen. You see people standing in the road, children and uh, we are, even, even ladies and men and boys. They say, we are just going on a chill. We are just going chilling. Or you can see some boys, some boys start just sitting down there. Lazy and most of them are thieves. They love good life, but they don't want to be diligent. But after this teaching, God will give you grace to be diligent in the name of Jesus. I say you'll be diligent in the name of Jesus. The other way for thoughtfulness means indolence. Indolence, I N T O L E N T. Indolence. That's uh, from the same word idle. It also means sluggish. To slag. When somebody is sluggish, you can just say the child is very sluggish. Kick them. Put them on the way in the name of Jesus. Amen. The other way can be sluggard. So God is saying, don't be sluggard. Point at your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. Don't be sluggard. Don't be sluggard. <laughs> look at them, look at them again. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Don't be sluggard. Don't be sluggard. Today we are in your meeting. Hallelujah. Amen. It also means inactive. Mm. There are some people that can stay one hour not doing anything. Me, even if I'm resting, I'll be thinking. Me, I rest thinking. That's how I do. Whenever I've worked, now I'm resting, I rest thinking. Which way? How are we going to do it? That's how I rest. I'm always working in my mind. Working in my mind. Hallelujah. I pray for you. May your mind work in the name of Jesus. Amen. It was me that we came who said, Make your brain work. It will sweat, but it will develop. Amen. I want your mind to sweat. Let the Holy Ghost inspire you. Hallelujah. Amen. But you see, you are, the Holy Ghost wants to inspire you, but you are involved in it mm. by questioning. That is your part. Lord, why are things not working? People are not asking. People have never ask questions. Well, why is my life like this? That's what people are. People, they are, not, they are not questions. Only people of questions find answers. Amen. God respond to questions. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to ask, why am I here? Why am I just on the same level? Why? 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 If truly you are genuine with your question, God will show you where you are wrong. Some of you will let you, it's not the job you need, like him. He discovered when I was with him, I was rapping shoulder to teach. I'm a great teacher. Even on the way, I'm one of the great teachers. Amen. I'm anointed to teach. It's something God has given me. I am a born teacher. Hallelujah. Amen. I can teach the word of God in a simple way. When I never went to school, you get it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Why? I'm anointed. I know that I know that stand is anointed to bring up the word of God. Amen. In a simpler manner. Amen. In a digested manner. Amen. In an absorbable manner. Amen. And a practical way. Amen. I'm very anointed. Amen. I know. I know that I know. So if you call to become a president or insulting me because I know where money my money is in teaching you. Amen. I say my money is in teaching you. Amen. So call to become an MP is an insult. 
Because I'm born a teacher. Amen. Mm. And I'm tired of the world preaching, teaching, and preaching. And people will be healed by my teaching. Amen. People will prosper by my teaching. Amen. People's mind will open by my teaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. And, and I'm telling you, the same place I had, he has come on you. I had classy children of ministers. And I gave them a prophet to say, prestige will call you to help them. And they called you. Amen. They are called you. Hey. They want him. I spoke the prophet two years ago. Two years ago. And now they phoned him to say, we want you to help our school structure. Prestige is one of the best schools in Pretoria. That's why it's science. It's a man they, they pay money. Yeah. Yeah. Amen.
bata a sua tribo, olha só. Olha só, bata a sua tribo, ele não te pede. Aquele é ele, o é o apotoque. Não, eu até sei que tu conta, tu conta, tu conta, tu conta. Não, 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 não. Está me sempre like that. Estude, especialmente se você é child, você está sempre like that. I'm going to whip you. It is it. I'll whip you. Thank you. 
your phone ring you pick. If you are not supposed to pick a phone. <laughs> to change things. Pastors are a high. The Bible says they deserve double honor. Let me show you. Let me show you. Double honor. So double honor. Double honor. Say loud Double honor. First, let me start with First Thessalonians 5 12 and 13. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor, do not wait, which wait, mm. or are diligent among you, and are over you in the Lord. This is your pastor. Mm. And we admonish you, look at this, 13, that to esteem them very highly, very what? Highly. Very what? Highly. Should you esteem the word highly? No. Very highly. Very. So it will be very. Very. So between your pastor and the president, who must be respected? Pastor. Between an MP and the pastor must be Respect we respect their position, but we can never give them the place of pastors. Mm. Sandera. Yes. Sandera. Mm. Look your hand. Look your hand. Mm. We need to bring out the truth here. Mm. Do you know pastors are not teaching people the truth? That's why people are just casual. That's why people are not being blessed. You are in the presence of your pastor. Your phone ring. The pastor is talking to you. You are picking your phone. Hmm. You are with your pastor. Your phone ring. You can't even see it. So what do you want to display it? <laughs> that is what they are talking about. And that's why we have, we have to teach them. What? Turn this out. No, it's my father. Your father's to wait first. Talk to your pastor, your leader. Amen. After you are done, then go and ask. I'm not showing you how things work. Amen. That's why Nigerians are being blessed. They know the power of honor. We want to be a church to us of honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to honor the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to honor our pastor in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> After Abraham patiently endured, he received the promise. Hallelujah. Amen. So it takes faith and patience and diligence to prosper. Amen. Oh my God, that's Power Friday. We take patience and faith and diligence to prosper. Amen. These three they go together. Where you see laziness, you see a person who is a doubter. Doubters are lazy people. Mm. Why are you not going to wait? You are doubting. But true people with true faith, number one, they are patient in life. Amen. And number two, they are diligent. Hallelujah. Amen. They are not in the hand to become rich, but they are pressing toward work. They are calculating. They work with God. Hallelujah. And they are looking and they are following and they are implementing in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you. Receive grace to go forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive grace to go forward in the name of Jesus.
I don't believe in those lies of saying, you know, angels can deposit money to account. That's a lie. Those things are lies. You use people to deposit money in your account, not angels. Angels they will touch people, not angels on their own. Ah. God is not the counterfeit. God is not the thief. Oh, where, where, where is he going to steal money from and put in your account? Yes, God can put money in your account Two people. Somebody, me, I can see money. Two people, I can see money. Two people. So God will touch people all the time. Not an angel on his own. Deposit money to account. Which transfer? No. Angels, they touch people. People are channels through which God blesses us. Amen. <laughs> Do this kind of thing says, I can see the money ahead. Miracle man. Shout out my friend. Do a miracle man. Whoa. What is miracle man? Miracle man is when God touches people to bless you. Mm. When God opens favor to bless you. When God blesses your business. When God blesses the work of your hand. Hallelujah. That is miracle man, my friend. Hallelujah. When God give an idea and you do it and you see power of mind, that's miracle money, my friend. Amen. When someone wakes up to a give man, that's miracle money. Not just angel talking up you. You don't account. That's stupidity. Those are fake things people are making up. Hmm. It's a lot of lies in the church today. Hmm. People are using their account and they post people and say, I see. Can you see this miracle man? What is a miracle? Don't abuse the word miracle. A miracle is something that is beyond capacity. If angel can give you the land, if we are in one thousand, angels are more powerful than you, are more powerful than angels. Have you seen that? <laughs> People are not equally believers. <laughs> Amen. The Lord blesses you through the avenue of labor, through the avenue of diligence, through the avenue of work. You must be on the work. You must be on the move. Hallelujah. Right now I'm working. I deserve to be blessed. I deserve to have money. Because I'm working. Hallelujah. I'm preaching to you, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm praying for you, praise God. This is work. Amen. The Bible says a leper is worthy of his work. Amen. I deserve to be paid. I'm told in the word of God. If you don't, if you, if you don't respond, God will touch someone else and God will bless them about you. Because mm. <laughs> God is great all the time. Mm. <clears throat> Are you being blessed? Amen. I said, Are you being blessed? Amen. The devil take a big place. He doesn't want to finish because of testimony. We are the power of testimony. How many of us are the testimony? Amen. Are you encouraged? Amen. Are you empowered? Amen. So, from the above chapter, we can see that there's a big link between diligence and what? Patience. Amen. Diligence is proof for faith. Diligence is proof of faith. Show me a woman of faith. I will show you a woman of the moon. Looking here. Looking there. Because faith is a looker. Oh my God. I say faith is a looker. Amen. And faith is essential. Hallelujah. Amen. You can never say you are in faith. And you are not on the moon. When the Lord spoke to Noah, there will be rain. There has never been rain before. They don't know what rain means. Noah was moved by faith with fear. So faith is an action. Hmm. Faith is diligent. Amen. Faith is a wake up. Hallelujah. Amen. I say faith is a wake up. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I say praise God. Amen. I say praise God. Laziness is costing many people's blessing. Laziness is costing many people's destiny. Laziness. No, I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting. No, God is on time. 
If I find out, slap you. Wake up. Faith must be the move. Amen. Mm. Go. Dress nice. And go at the end. I'm here. I would love to sweep for your house for one week. If you like it, employ me. I'll do it for free. That's faith. Mm. That, that way, some of There are people like this. At my company, they start thinking I'll pay 7,000. Just like that. When come. Mm. But you went looking for it. Faith is a looker. Mm. I said, faith is a looker. Mm. Our generation, they are faith because they are prioritized money before service. There are so many pastors that become liars because they are prioritized money before they touch your hearts. Do you know if you touch hearts, you touch pockets? Because hearts and pockets are connected. Amen. If you want people's pockets to be in your hand, touch their heart in the word of God. Amen. I said, touch their heart in the word of God. Amen. So me, I'm not the one to rush. I want to touch your heart in the word of God. Amen. And when you are touched and you are converted and you are placed, you become a blessing to this way in the name of Jesus. Amen. You become a blessing to me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As hallelujah. Amen. Like this. Our Father God is a waker. So it be God. Oh. The Father. The Father. Is a waker. Is a waker. Say again, Jesus. Jesus. Is a waker. God is a waker. So if you are lazy, where did you get lazy from? The devil is very lazy. Remember when the Lord asked the, the devil, where are you coming from? I'm coming from moving to and fro. Those are, that's the language of lazy people. I just went wasting time. The devil says, I was coming from moving to and fro. Lazy people, they are this house. They are this neighbor. Talking and lazy people are those <laughs> you listen to me. Don't just <laughs> that's a parent. Take our phone from you. When I went to school, take our phone. Take our phone. Take our phone. If it's for communication, buy them the ding ding. For communication, where are you? I'm going to pick you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's a man that tells the teacher, the teacher is still teaching maths. It's on one subject. The teacher is teaching class. Discipline. And they say, democracy. Children, what is that? Who touch you? This thing, you know, that God is not the God of democracy. There's no democracy in God. Whatever He tells you, you do it or you leave it. Mm. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at John 5 17. Look at John. Jesus said this. John 5 17. Are we together? Amen. Jesus said this. But Jesus answered them, My father wakes. Wow. My father wakes me. That wakes. Either two, and I wake him. <laughs> Jesus said, My father is waking me. The NIV says, My father is waking always. I am also waking. Then I saw it. Do you know that God is always waking to see His way come to pass? In your life, hallelujah. Amen. In our church, hallelujah. Amen. And to see the end of the world come to pass is already on the watch to wake. Hallelujah. Amen. God is waking daily to sustain the day. Every millisecond is producing new Adams, is producing new heat, is producing new pillars. To sustain the earth all the time. Hallelujah. Amen. To keep the moon bending, somebody is waking. To keep the stars bending, somebody is waking. Jesus. 
Jesus says, my father wake. I too, I wake. So both Jesus and the father are wakers. Say Lord. Lord. Say Lord. Lord. Empower me. Empower me. With the spirit of wake. So, two, two classes 
They are competing in addition to mathematics. So they all school are doing mathematics. So I made up my mind. Chemistry, Adam, maths, geography. No matter how much you start, you can't beat me. Chemistry, I was like a book. Chemistry became like a book. I became like a book. I just became like maths, I became like a book. I can start learning mathematics from, from zero to the, book, to the last. I, I'm a book myself. I don't need book. I can create maths myself. Up to today, it's one of the four 
Because his work came from God. It's up to today. In 1918, in America, he gave five seventy million dollars toward the work of God. You want to raise billionaires in church? We are going to empower the work of God. Influence decisions in the name of Jesus. Do you know that it took someone who was rich to bury the God of Jesus? Joseph of Arimathea. Joseph is a rich man. Joseph of Arimathea. He went to Pilate and said, Give me the body. Peter, as anointed as he was, he could not demand the body. Why? The devil was willing to expire people, even to take his body and bury it. The devil is a demeanor. He was willing to despise the body of our Lord Jesus. But thank God, Jesus had rich disciples. It is written, a rich disciple of Jesus. Matthew 27, 56 to 60. Read that. You find it. He went before Pilate and said, Give me the body. Do you tell you go before Pilate? Unless it's of influence. This man had money. And when he says, If you don't give me the body, all oh my money I will throw it. He says, Hey, please, they are carrying the body. Hallelujah. Amen. It took a rich man to take the body on prayer. Amen. Stop telling that man is bad. Because it was money that buried our Lord. It was money they took. And also this other one, Nicodemus, they took spiny liquid that was very expensive and applied his body. And this rich man put Jesus in his tomb. Very expensive to do. Do you know why Nigeria is becoming a giant nation? Because pastors have taken responsibility to teach. It's not that they just cannot get all the there's no balance. We, we must strike the balance. There's a place of spirituality, there's a place of our the mentality. So mental and spiritual prowess, we must be strong spiritually, mentally to bring financial breakfast. Amen. Can that be spiritual? That's good. But let us say the one be empowered. Amen. Think sound, talk sound. In politics, they'll never hear, they'll never hear your, your tongues. They want to hear you analyze law because it's the system of the world. So you must know law. No. Become a politician in Pumalanga. You don't even know the seats of Pumalanga. What kind of influence is that? Amen. How do you become an MP in Pumalanga? First, you never take a time to study in Pumalanga. Just, just to study in Pumalanga. No knowledge of Pumalanga. Yet you want to study the Then they put on TV, they ask you, which town in Pumalanga has got many of Hey, hey, I need to check. It's a look at Christians. If you love success, you are going to stay in this church. If you hate it, you, you come because I will break you to the world. Amen. Amen. And I'm also being broken. You think I'm happy? <laughs> I'm also pushing myself. Amen. The next 10 minutes I'm finished. <coughs> How are you being blessed? Amen. Amen. There is a wrong principle which says, if all you had was faith, things will change. That's a lie. Faith alone is incomplete. Amen. It has to be faith coupled with diligence or work. Amen. Listen, people carefully. There's a distortion today. You say, hey, faith alone will work. Ah, God will show you what to do, but you must step out. It will take work. It will take your, your, your feet to go out. It will take your hand to go on the plow. It will take the use of your mind. Listen carefully. Stop this kind of wrong teachings. There must be balance. Faith alone without actions. James 2 14. My brethren, why shall I prophet a man? John 2, James 2 14. If he says he has faith and that faith does not save him, can, can a man be saved without faith if there's no actions? Amen. Do you know why demons? They will go to hell. They have no faith in God. Did you know that? James 2 19. He says they have faith in God and they shudder. But the reason they don't action their faith to repent. Because faith must be accompanied. Many people in the world of Christ, they have no demon faith. Faith without actions is called demonic faith. Demons, they believe God. And they shout that they have a faith in God. The Bible says, hey, read James 2 19. He says, says this. 
You, you believe there is one God. He says, you do well. Even demons believe and they shudder. You, you, you only shudder. Then they shudder. <laughs> <laughs> they shudder. They are vibrating. You only vibrate. But God says they will go to the one. They have refused to confess Christ is the Lord. They have refused to repent. Mm. So they go to heaven. Mm. So faith alone without work, my friend. Ah, when I mean work, action based on the direction of God. Hallelujah. The one that's been getting into work, you need to be laid. It's called late work. I'll teach this to you. I'll post. So we are not just people who are wake, wake. Ah, we are people that must be laid. God has to lead you. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you being blessed? Amen. Are you being blessed? Amen. Let me end by saying this. What is diligence? I want to define it in the Old Testament and the New Testament of the cross. I don't even get into my message. But I want to do it. But it's worth it. The testament is worth it. Hallelujah. Amen. What is diligence? First of all, I'll start with Old Testament definition from the Hebrew. Old Testament 